Yes, sir. Hey, guys. What it do? What it do? What it do? <sighs> Back with another one. Dude, we're actually consistent. I mean, it's episode three. Yeah, but... <laughs> episode three, but we're being consistent for yeah, now. Yeah. For now. I mean, we'll see. We'll see yeah. as time goes on. I think, on. let's set a goal so that we hold ourselves accountable. I think at least camera. for six months, we should be. Oh, six months? Yeah. I mean, okay, let's place a number on episodes. So How does that work? Because we have two episodes so, per week. Okay, so you need to do the maths, man. So like um, two, two, two episodes a week. Okay, but tell me the months. wait. Tell me the like time span. You said six months. Oh, so two episodes per week well, for six, six months. months. So that's what does that equate to? Uh, four weeks in a month, right? Times two, eight, right? And then months, wait, four, six, which is four, two, which is okay. Forty-eight videos. Okay, so let's round it off. Fifty. 50. <laughs> <laughs> doing how yo, you guys doing it's yo, been a minute how are you doing i'm alive bro yeah i'm always yeah, alive yeah, you know yeah. me i'm always alive just alive, that just is, alive. no 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 that is the energy of the podcast we're just trying to stay alive yeah, we're trying to keep the yeah. artistic energy alive yeah. um yeah i just want to start us off there's something that i've been thinking about a lot as yeah, an artist yeah. you know especially having not dropped music like for a very very long time funny enough it's like we're in sync i was thinking, you think yeah, but, okay go for yes, it yes but i noticed in this time that i haven't been making music or releasing music yeah. yes it's been bad that i haven't been releasing but it's been good because i've been realizing that i have to sort of take care of my autistic self yeah you know and take care of myself as a person so i'm talking about you know the general self-care things just learning to take care of my mental yeah and learning to sort of be okay with being alone with my own thoughts. Yeah, I yeah. think that's one thing that COVID also showed you. I don't know if you can. Yo, COVID, that. you you yeah. couldn't run away from your thoughts, bro. <laughs> exactly. So I think during COVID, like, I didn't necessarily feel the effects as much. I think I'm feeling the effects nah, of COVID. Yeah, like it's like an aftertaste. Yeah, yeah. So there's a post lot of COVID. We're not even post yet. Hey, but, dude, dude, yeah, is this, exactly. It's like this PTSD thing going you, on. So it's like. I need to take, I think this is the time where I think for the last week I've realized is I need to take care of myself the most, Yeah. especially artistically and not doubt myself. And just I have open. a question for you. So yeah. as an artist, um, if you have a deadline right now, you're not working under any pressure. So you make music when you yeah. feel free to make music. Right. Yeah. But say you're signed to a label. Yeah. Um, and let's say every three months you have to release a song. Yeah. What do you do as an artist? Um, in the we in the times where you feel drained, you feel like not working, but you've got deadlines. What do you do to keep okay. that energy? Because I feel like also mm. if you don't take care of yourself, it will reflect in the music. It, it will be trash or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. it will reflect in some way. Yeah, or exactly. Now so, I hear you. Yeah. The way I deal with deadlines, it's 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 actually weird. You know when you do projects last minute. And yeah, 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 yeah. Oh shit, this idea. So um. If someone asks me for something and I'm like, I'll give it to you by this day. So yeah. if someone asks for a beat or yeah. someone asks for a recording or whatever, I'll sometimes, bad habit, but I'll sometimes leave it for the last minute. The last <laughs> minute. And then I'll get these like... My boy hasn't changed from high school. <laughs> and I'll get these like emergency ideas. Yeah. It's almost like there's a box that opens up. Yeah, and it's like, okay, I get you, I get you. Bro, we need to work. You work well under pressure. <laughs> work well under pressure. But that's such a bad yeah. excuse because it's not a work well under pressure yeah. thing. Because if I started like days ago, yeah. I would eventually yeah. lead to that point and yeah. get time to tweak it. So there's like an emergency vault somewhere yeah. that's just like... Yeah get things done and i think yeah it's just that survival mode bro it's, it's yeah, bad I but you. yo i get you yeah. let me throw you off i was actually thinking about this yesterday right mm. you, you actually mentioned that the whole covid thing feeling the post covid symptoms yeah but um when covid happened yeah like during just the beginning phases of covid yeah. um you as an artist actually you were studying sound how did how did that affect the entertainment or art industry Yo, that will, yo, I, will, I won't lie, for a good, like, month or two, put a beep, it messed everything up. Messed everything up, Like, yeah. hard. 
Because now you get people messages like, nah, guys, the entertainment industry is fucked <laughs> it's up. It's dead, and yeah. Took it's this course. Yeah. What are you going to do? And I'll never forget the first day when Ramaphosa announced. announced. Yeah. I was sitting with Luke. It was the 23rd of March. I, was, I, remember. I remember that day I was sitting with Luke. I just had finished my classes and we were eating chicken licking and we were like, wow. So this is happening. The world is ending. I feel like it was so surreal when he announced, yes. bro. Because we were all sitting watching <laughs> TV, crazy. doing our own thing. Some people mm. were cooking. Some people were doing whatever. And it's like we're going into a hard lockdown. No movement, no nothing. It was like we're in a movie. Stages of grief. Bro. Because yeah. that's like 21 days. It'll be over. Now, I was in denial. I was yeah, like, now nah, I'm going to go back to school soon, soon. I'm not even going exactly. to unpack. Exactly. Two months like, down yeah. the line, still haven't unpacked. I'm like, but I'm, I haven't went back. What's going on? <laughs> but doesn't believe. Dude, I was in denial. I was in but denial. back to your point with the, like, it's entertainment industry yeah. and some things. Obviously, things are picking up now. Yeah. But in that time frame. Oh, sweating. I can see you through the. Uh, yeah. Ad break. In the window. <laughs> But yeah, guys, going. it's so hot in here. Like, it is now yeah, we, really we're is. trying to contain the sound, Ooh. and we can't turn on the AC because that's also gonna be sound. Ad break. Hey, we move. Yeah, towels. Next episode. <laughs> but um, yeah, you're saying yeah. Yeah, it's this thing of like, you realize it does mess you up in the moment, mm. but I think with anything in this life, like you have to learn to adapt. Yeah, like, definitely. There, there was no other definitely. choice. So I wasn't thinking of changing course, but it was like okay. What, what online yeah. stuff can you do? Yeah. And that's actually how um, Creatives Connect came about. Because mm. I had more free time. I was like, okay, how can I get creatives to still interact? Yeah, how, I can yeah, I, yeah. how can I still host stuff? Because that's a passion of mine, hosting. Mm-hmm. How can I still host stuff? But still, obviously, you know. But didn't you find that hard? Because people don't engage as much with online stuff. Like, I think mm. that was the most difficult thing in terms of COVID was that Everyone was trying to move to a digital world, but it was like, it's so difficult because the engagement's not there. I'm talking about school on its own. Online school was difficult for teachers to engage with their students, students to engage with that. Like artists to put, imagine trying to perform as an actor, a show or a monologue online. Yeah. It's it's not the same. Like, I mean, you don't, it was more so about with the creators connect. It was more so about the conversation. Now I get that, but I'm saying as an artist who was working, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 so now how... I get that they had to adapt, but even the adaptation was so difficult because it's like... It's 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 nonsense. Bro. Yeah, yeah. Online anything, I don't think will yeah. ever be the same, bro. Because yeah. I remember online concerts started coming out, and it's like, mm. do you charge for an online concert? Like, but then now that? my question comes in: How did um Major League Kabza? Um, Kabza and them Well I'm a piano artist Who were hosting Those live sessions On Insta They were getting Gang clouds Bro Like yeah, people were. were So my question is How did How did they figure it out What formula Did they get to say This is how we're gonna Hook people Onto yeah, You know This thing online And this is how yeah. We're gonna make it pop Yeah That's a good question Cause that was my chat It's like Mm. We keep saying online, online, there's no engagement, but there are people who are doing it. And we can't say because they know there's no engagement, we're not yeah. gonna adapt. You need yeah. to find that formula, find something to bring people mm. in. Yeah. Mm. I think what made um this is just my thinking. Yeah. What made like the Mapiano DJs, for example, like your Cubsas and your major leagues is like the genre was already coming up already yeah, before yeah, yeah. COVID, and it's like, okay, we still want to go to Groove and hear this thing. Yeah, where else can we hear? Because ah, remember, yeah. also in lockdown, there was that thing on Channel O, <sighs> lockdown house party. Oh yes, 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 that yes, was yes, yes, yeah, huge, yeah. bro. And it's like that was also a very creative yeah, idea yeah. where they used you know television to mm. be like, even though you can't go to the party, but let's get you on board. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I also think with a lot of creative stuff, it takes a team, bro. It does. It eh? takes a team. Yeah, it, it takes like agree. a bunch of like, it I takes like 10 people yeah. to be like, yo, let's brainstorm. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So that's also like a thing where you're creative, like creatively, you need like a lot of people behind you yeah. to be like, okay, this is what we're pushing. Yo, but I feel sorry for like the creatives who lost like gigs, jobs. Because bro, that yeah, was their only form of bringing yeah, food yeah. on the table. And I actually bumped into a lady at, at Westgate, right? Yeah. Um, I don't remember what she was, but she was in the creative industry. She lost a job and she was working at like a vape store. 
Yeah. And she's selling like vape equipment and all of that. And we had a convoy and it was like, hey, bro, I had to move out. I had to like find another plan because I couldn't do what I was doing mm. anymore, you know, and I have like to feed myself, to feed my kids. So, and it was just sad, bro. It's like, imagine a person who went and studied or did whatever, made a living for themselves. And all of a sudden it's just, woof, everything changes. And it's like, now you just have to survive survival you, mode find so that, whatever you can get exactly yeah. the last few years have been survival mode oh, for like oh, a lot of industries oh, i think oh. even but it always takes me back to that saying we had in high school that that uh improvise adapt overcome <laughs> hey bro whenever time yeah. got tough improvise adapt, you just say those three overcome. words oh, oh. <laughs> but it's tough because eh? it's nah. easier said than done like, it really oh, it, oh. it it really is tough dude because yeah. so much was lost but we've been on the topic of like so much has been lost due to what's COVID. been gained yeah yeah and that's what, what i want to ask yeah, you what's been, okay yeah, like what do you feel like you've gained like you've okay if covid didn't happen i wouldn't have gotten this i think covid happened right and i think not just for me mm. but it happening in the moment it felt like boom shut down everything's just falling apart there's nothing great there's no silver lining yeah but i think now that we're coming not towards the end but now we're coming to a point where the trauma is dying down and people are not in denial anymore there's so much growth like um the whole dig digitalization or i guess the digital platform there's so many upcoming YouTubers right now in SA, bro. And I always said, entertainment, it's it's it was not controlled, but predominantly European and Westernized. Like they were uh, killing it in terms yeah. of. But yeah. now we're seeing South Africa stepping up on that platform as well. Mm. Like if you just look at music, look how far Ama Piano has gotten, bro. Mm. That was all because of lockdown and major leagues, balcony mixes. Mm. Um mm. And then if you look at our South African YouTubers, bro, the things they're doing, yeah. they're living the life. For an example, I think Tato Rampedi, um, Just Daddy G, all those gents, they do like YouTube tours now and go to like different uh, places in SA yeah, and yeah. chill and meet people and what. And it's just like, who would have yeah. thought that our industry could get people living like that? You know, it's also crazy, dude. Yeah. It's like when we were smaller, like we would have like you know the tv yeah and everything we watched was like on tv yeah so if you're looking for like you know soft life you'd watch top billing yeah you, yeah, yeah i yeah, don't know yeah. it was like well for me it was like top billing and then generations is like yeah, yeah. generation <laughs> and, 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 and it's like that's your days life of our lives yeah, yeah and it's like you, you know days when auntie still cleaning you watch days <laughs> and then that's it yeah but now it's like there's so much content. Bro. There's like so much to absorb. And I love it. Yo, so guys, much to keep, keep. I love it, mm. but at the same time, I hate it. Now, it's I like, think, I think, I I'll, tell you, you, okay? I'll tell you what. Finish, finish your thoughts. I love this overload of content because yes. it's like you can just take and yeah, take and take. Yeah, yeah. But it's like, I can't even listen <laughs> to a whole album now and not get distracted yeah, by something. I, I can't, I can't just watch one video and yeah. be like, oof, I feel this. Yeah. You, know? It's, you know what I think? I think it's the same thing as adapting now. We're in an, we're mm. in a, uh, an era, an environment where there's uh, so much content overload. It's now that thing that you were saying back in the day when there was SABC3, you'd watch that as mm. and then done. <laughs> yeah. You need to do the same. Apply it to yourself as well. Okay, find the things that you want to watch that resonate to you, the uh, content that speaks okay. to you and just watch and that. Just make Yeah, and that. then that's your corner. When you're done with that, you're done. Because I've realized with the content overload, there's so much going on that you're trying to keep up with everything. But ask yourself, is everything that you're trying to keep up with adding value to your life? And is it... What's adding value? Exactly, yeah. Value. So watch whatever resonates with you, consume whatever resonates with you, and then that's it. Nothing else. Everything else, people have got their own spaces. Like... Uh, I'm not going to go watch a psychological YouTube video or whatever, whatever, because that's not, you know, yeah. but someone who's studying psychology might want to yeah. watch that yeah. consistently. So it's like, just find your corner. Don't try and be everywhere because it gets to you as well. I feel you. Yeah. Pro tip though. Damn. You just reminded me. Pro tip. It's like, I saw this tweet that said, um, like the amount of focus you have is going to be directly proportional to the amount of success you have. What do you mean? So focus, like the principle of focus. Yeah. Right? So the more you are able to focus on something yes. and really like hone in on that, yeah. the more successful that thing will be. 
No, definitely. Yeah, yeah. definitely. So like what yeah. you just said was like just reminded me. No, of that definitely. And, like, what? and I think that's why a lot of so many people give up in the beginning when you start something or whatever because it's it's difficult to focus on one thing right now in our age but there's just yeah. so much going on and you want to be in all these different spaces you want to and and there's something like my dad always says is that sacrifice bro like it's so important to understand the fact that mm. if you want this thing you can't live the same way that you yeah. know you're living yeah. in order to get that thing like you might need to cut out certain things because it's not aligned to that. But if you yeah, don't, those things carry yeah, you down and you yeah, end up feeling tired. Yeah, and, and it's like a yeah, burden. Exactly, yeah, yeah, and it's exactly. It's like you're burdening yourself yeah. because you don't want to let go of that thing. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. What are some of the things you've had to let go of now that we're Bro, I haven't let go of anything. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't let go of anything. After that I whole bombshell. <laughs> no, I'm not going to lie to anyone. I haven't let go of anything. After I that know, whole bombshell, you're not going to drop I know. Some. I know there are things I'm supposed to let go of. I, I know that definitely. I went through a rough two years, bro. COVID, like, <laughs> and now I was at the point of, damn, like, what do I do? I know there are these things that I have to let go yeah. of, but am I ready to? And for mm. me, I'm not ready. That's my chat. But in, I guess, the few things that I have managed to let go of are the things that I want to pursue the most. But at the same time, I'm like, it's not their time now. Mm. So last year, I wasn't focused really on my artsy side, creative side. Like, I wasn't pushing photography and all of those things very much. Um, I was like, dude, let's focus on one thing for change. Just focus on the degree. Let everything else go. Degree, and then, my life. Yeah, and then you'll come <laughs> back to that because yeah. the whole degree, this, that, 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 it was also getting too much for me. So I was mm. like, mm, try and find a balance, prioritize, and then those other things, they'll always be there and I can always go back to it. Everything them. will sort of fall yeah. into place. Yeah. What have you let go of? I knew you'd ask me and... <sighs> dude, I think I've let go of a lot of people. Ah, yeah, yeah, I get you, yeah, I get you. Because I was someone, and I'm sure you can yeah, attest yeah, yeah. to this in high school, you know, He's I was lying. someone. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I was someone that, you know, cared a lot. Yeah, I was like check a carer, up on the yeah, Making yeah. sure that, yo, you're good. Yeah, yeah, what's yeah, happening? Yeah. And then I just decided at some point that. Pause. Relax. Time for me. How are you yeah, doing? Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. and then that's when the introspection started, yeah. and that's when the looking deeper yeah, started. And like, okay, this is how. Funny I'm really enough, doing. I went through that phase early on. As soon as I got out of high yeah. school, I was like, it's all about you now. You've done your burden of caring about, but right now it's all yeah. about you. And then um, COVID happened, and it made me realize how much I miss people, bro. Yeah, like how much yeah. I miss connecting, like just chilling and checking up on people and just meeting up and connecting it made me realize yo bro so many people were so scattered now everyone's mm. just and it's like damn but yeah man it's life it's life it's so crazy like we're in a connected but so disconnected yeah. it's like the more connected we get the more disconnected it's, yeah we it's, are. it's weird yeah, yeah. it's weird but yeah. what is would you say one art form or one thing that you've been doing recently that makes you feel the most connected? Either to yourself, either to your art, or either just in general. Recently, it's been music, bro. Mm. Like, the whole of last year, I didn't touch my piano, eh? Mm. This year, mm. bro, I don't know I what... forgot you played dude, piano. <laughs> this year, I don't know what happened, but there's just something that woke up, bro. Yeah. Like, I don't think a day goes by, I don't play something, I don't... And I'm just writing down melodies mm. writing down you know even if it's just like a random one-liner type of thing later on i come back listen to that and i'm like oh, i can build onto this and i don't know what i'm gonna do with that music but mm. it's just it's form refreshing. of expression it's ref yeah it's also refreshing and that's yeah. important it doesn't have to go anywhere yeah exactly. it can just yeah. be your yeah. own yeah. thing yeah 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 i mean i could also bite your answer and say music but mm. the one thing i would say has been really really cool really really stressful but really really cool at the end has been just creating this creating yeah. um the yeah. events Ooh. so like it's been like you try and contact all sorts of people yeah. and you know they all like you know every like of their specialities yeah you know what they specialize in and you're like please come please help and just bringing Everyone all together, these creative yeah. people in one sort of mixing mm. bowl and it's like what can we make 
out together of, yeah. and that's yeah. been like wow yeah no, yeah that's dope i feel you i feel you but i definitely think there's like oh there's different channels to um like explore these days especially with things starting to open up bro i feel like yeah. a lot of things are not gonna go back exactly how they were either gonna be a bit slightly enhanced or slightly you know lower in grade yeah. but i think that just depends on you as a person how this situation is affecting you how you're interpreting it and all of that but i actually wanted to ask mm. what do you think has been the most funny enough the whole thing's been tailored around covid we didn't even plan this <laughs> but what no, do you think has, yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah what do you think that. has been the most successful art form during covid successful in define success successful in terms of i guess money or or yes which art form has had the most business opportunities during uh, this okay. covid okay yo like films bro netflix everyone's been at home exactly. watching watching series yeah. <laughs> i think yeah, that's yeah. been like a really good thing i don't mm. know how the filming companies yeah, work yeah, i'm not yeah, sure yeah, yeah. how that field really yeah. works but I mean, people are at home, people are watching series and people need good series. Yeah, yeah. So I think that's been like a real art form that I've seen. Like, wow, this good. is something yeah. that's actually like yeah, proper. Yeah, yeah. Like, even though we can't necessarily go to the movies anymore. Yeah, but people are consuming movie, it from But home, people yeah. are watching 10 hour mm. long series and it's like, damn. Even YouTube, I think those yeah, two are just... Mm. Yeah, YouTube it, as well, yeah. yeah. Entertainers. So creators, video, yeah, like yeah, video. video. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because video is a nice thing of you can mix music and you can mix visual, visual. Yeah. So it's like it's taking in all your yeah. like most of your senses. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, I definitely have to agree. I definitely yeah. I think we've all been binge watching. And what have you those. been binge watching? <laughs> Yo, bro. Um, I'm right now. I'm on Snowpiercer. You definitely oh, yeah, have you to watch it, bro. Like, yeah, things are guys. This this series is just insane. Like yeah. things are just going south bro and it's just like <laughs> what um i don't want to spoil it just go watch snow piercer but snow i think piercer, one definitely. that I, I i enjoyed in the beginning but um towards the end just felt repetitive manifest i didn't watch manifest Have, I, you didn't watch i manifest? see manifest and i'm like yeah <laughs> you know it there's started off, you see yeah like, mm. <laughs> it started off as a dope concept these people get on a train i mean a plane two different planes um one lands well, actually, they're at the airport. It starts off the scenes at the airport. Yeah. And then people, um, this plane, I think, has been overbooked. So now they offer up uh, free vouchers for people to go on the other plane to kind of spread the load. Okay. Right? So then, like, some families, they split up. As in, now you guys can take the second one. We'll take the first one or whatever, whatever. Mm. Right? Cool. First plane, the original plane lands. Nothing, no stress, whatever, whatever. Right? Chilled. Second plane, there's turbulence. There's a thunderstorm. There's whatever. And then... I don't know what happened, but they land after five years. They go, what? <laughs> Imagine. Now, people thought, like, the people that were on Earth were like, these people are gone, missing the planes, gone, yeah. or whatever. But then they land after five years, and now it's just the whole thing of trying to get your life back. Like, people land, their mothers are dead. Um, what? And it's like, ah, but they feel like they haven't lost any time, and they haven't aged. That's so true. Dude, and it's just like... Your husband's moved on, your wife's moved on, and you just like, how? I wasn't gone though, but they're like, it's been five years. And the story what? revolves around this family where they are twins. They were twins. Well, yeah. they still are twins. Yeah. The one twin went on the other plane. So they still, I think, I think they ate or something. Now the other one has grown and it's like, that dynamic yeah. doesn't work. And <laughs> it's just insane, bro. What do you do Dude. if you land on, like you land on like the ground? From your five-year airplane flight. Bro. And you, for you, didn't feel like five years. It's it like was a normal plane a, bro. flight. And then the people who are on the plane get these things called um, callings. So okay. it's like a voice in your head that tells you what to do. Uh, I think it's primarily for the good. I don't know. But essentially then, it, this is why I'm saying the story takes a turn here. Yeah. Yeah. It becomes like a superhero thing uh, where they get these like, callings. And it's like, yeah, like, do this, rescue this. You guys had me in the first yeah, half. Yeah, and okay. then it gets repetitive. <laughs> and I was like, but in the first half, you all had something going mm. with this whole five year. You, you know, guys messed it up. Bro, but, uh, yeah. okay. but it's a great, great series nonetheless. I um, feel like they could have just done more in you know, season two, bro. They yeah, could've just, yeah. They could have. Mm. Given it. But yeah, what have you been watching on Netflix? Yo, Money Heist. 
Ah, oh, Ozark. Bro, Ozark. Ah, disappointing ah. though. Um, I'm still waiting for the last few yeah, episodes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. it's nice to watch. Yeah, I really is. enjoy the cinematography. Yeah, and, like, the vibe yeah. Of it. yeah. They kill. Uh, oh, well, okay. no spoilers! <laughs> my bad, my bad, my bad. No spoilers. My bad. No spo- my one bad. thing is, you will do is spoil. <laughs> I'll spoil it. Yeah. But nah, let's let's. I think that's about it. We can move on to couple, couple drop. drop. I was about yeah. to mention it today. Let's we just couple drop. Yeah, we're on the same level today. Okay, so couple last couple episode couple you drop. copped or dropped a lot of stuff. Yeah. Mine is a little bit more simple, but yeah. uh, I think it's still a vibe. I want to yeah, hear yeah. your answers. I right, cool. So cop or drop. Would you rather lie or be lied to? What are you copying? And what am I dropping? Mm. Are you a liar or would you rather be lied to? Nah, bro. I, I'm sorry. I, I, I'd rather I'd rather <laughs> cop the lying. I'd be lying. <laughs> like, Why? I, I hate being lied to. Like, yeah. yo, it's the worst thing ever. It's like one of my biggest... Red not flags. even red flags. But I don't know. Oh, it's, it's above it's, red it's flag. Like a, bro. It's, it's like, like a no. Yeah, it's like don't... You can... I, like... The thing is, I, I hate being lied to because I feel like I'm an understanding person. Like, yeah. if you tell me, dude, I can't do one, th- one two, three, four, because you, of this. I'm like, like okay, it's understand. fine. I understand. Cool. Right. Mm. And I'm also like, also understand I'm a human being. Right. Mm. If your mom tells you she can't get you something because of situation, Shab, you might be a bit hurt. So don't expect me not to be a bit hurt. I'm going to be. You know, some people yeah. lie because they're like, I don't want this gen to be hurt. It's like, no, it's part of life. Yeah. Don't lie. Tell me the truth. It's going to hurt, but I'll move over it and I'll respect you more for mm. that so i think i'd rather do the lying and it's weird now because i hate being lied to but i'd rather lie to someone <laughs> that's else that's why i asked this <laughs> ah but nah I'd definitely Trip, rather right? do the lying yeah okay no fair um on the socials or whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there was the meme going around obviously would you pick one million or a dinner with jay-z so what are you copying a dinner with jay-z or one million yeah there's been like that meme going around so this is <laughs> One million is little money, bro. Like dollars, bro. Oh, one million dollars. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's like 16, that's like 20 mil. That's a lot of money here. That's all it is. <sighs> 20 million rand, guys. And dinner with Jay-Z. You know what my problem is? <laughs> <laughs> so are you taking the dinner? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> because the memes also said you'd sit with Jay-Z and Jay-Z would just look at you and be like, my man my is jay-z <laughs> actually 20 million ran I'd, I'd, I'd cop the 20 okay, million fair, fair. but you know what i was gonna say it goes both ways with jay-z if i was an artist i would choose the dinner with him yeah because okay. i feel like i would be able to i would have the right connections to build on my craft and to get channels of distribution and to okay. be mentored type of and thing getting, which okay. is much more valuable than, than any, yeah any amount exactly of yeah but i'm not I'm not like uh, that those type of mm. artists i'm not like proper deep into music so i, I, I mean like more. if the if the question was phrased uh one million dollars or like get jay-z to be like yeah yeah, yeah also you could sit there with him and then he's like nah bro who you and then jay-z's just like he's like who you <laughs> dog? tell me about south africa and you're trying to push your music so i have this album coming and he's like nah tell, tell me, me about, about the motherland bro <laughs> and then that's it and then one? he's like yo bro like you thought i was gonna help you what nigga relax bro relax you gotta work for that shit work hard wake up 6 a.m you know those entrepreneurs someone tells me to work hard bro one more time if i hear that one more time yo hey dude just sell out i'll flip yo what are you copying or dropping instagram or twitter definitely twitter Dropping, are you copying, copying Twitter? Twitter yeah. Dropping Instagram. I like I knew you'd say Twitter this. Twitter is where it's at, bro. <laughs> Instagram, all you see is people's pictures and whatever. Twitter, bro, you, you know, get like. I deleted Twitter. Yo, that's where you get the juice, bro, the drama. As you guys know, but I was tired that Han who dropped her pictures. Uh, <laughs> 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 you're not even get into that. Um, Paul Tusi going on a date, My the man. national date. Um, I deleted Twitter. Yo, bro, I Twitter's just it. weird. Because I just couldn't. Nah, it's too much because it's, it's too much yo, information. Bro, I think it's just which what you want. Like I go there if you go with the mentality that 
ah, I'm serious on Twitter, your bro, it's going to hurt you because you're going to get all this information and it's just going to depress you. And you're like, why are people like this? Why is this? Why is that? Mm. But if you go in there just to have fun, bro, there's so many trolls on Twitter, bro. Like, okay. it's just a platform where you get news, but also you can have fun. Like, you can comment whatever. You're like, wildest <laughs> thoughts, bro. Wildest yeah, but just thoughts. be careful because some people get sued for 300K. <laughs> <That's> all- <laughs> <laughs> Over tweets, I'm not throwing shade, yeah. but <laughs> let's move. <laughs> Couple drop. <laughs> Ooh, allegedly. Now, okay. Ooh. Man's edit, allegedly. Hey, allegedly, hey, because you gotta be safe these days. Um, couple drop. Gabza or Calvin Momo? Yo, Gabza did so much though for I'm a piano, but Calvin Momo is also just a great artist. It's just so spicy, man. Bro, I'd cop Gabza. I mean, Calvin, Calvin. Right now, I'd cop Calvin. Right now you're Cobb yeah. Calvin. I don't yeah. see Cobb Calvin. Because Gabza did a mm. lot and nothing against him. Like I will always respect him for mm. what he's done to Ama Piano. But right now, Calvin's music speaks to me more. Yo. Yeah. Yeah, Calvin. It's a tough one. Yeah. But that's yeah. why I'm asking. Yeah, not Calvin for now. Um Okay, this one requires a prerequisite. Did you watch Money Heist? Yes. Did you watch Top Boy? No. Because oh! no. I was gonna ask if you're gonna cop or drop Money Heist or Top Boy, but Nah Top Boy is coming out in Top March Boy. again Watch it I didn't watch Top Boy Watch it and then We get back to Wait what is Top Boy about? Tell me the first few episodes Is it about that? that? It's about those UK gents Those road men Yeah and they try to rob something Yeah they like In the rub, beginning yeah, And whatever yeah. I watched it and it got boring Ah uh, okay so I guess you're copying money highs Yeah Are you copying or dropping Crocs? It's now just we one can thing. drop Crocs, bro. Crocs we are can, dope, bro. Now we can drop Crocs. Crocs are dope. Look, this is where it's at, bro. This is where it's at. <laughs> leave Crocs at home. These are the. Those are the. I'm fetching groceries. No, these I really are the. Don't feel like these are the. Groceries. I'm going to my side. Who's used to me now? Go <laughs> <laughs> when you're used to that side chick. That, that joke yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> These are the ones, bro. I'm going to I'm going to my side chick. I'm going to my sneaky now. link. Yeah. <laughs> but she's no more like beginning sneaky link. It's been months in now. You come, she knows. You're just there to do the deed. You don't need to drop out. Pull up like this. You're good, bro. You're good. <laughs> Man said Adidas slippers. Adidas slippers, bro. It's always been Um good. here's another series though. Uh Blood and Water or mm-hmm. Queen and Sono. Definitely Queen Blood Sono, and Water. Sorry. Dropping Queen Sono, Blood and Water, bro. Okay, okay. I won't even argue that. One. <laughs> Blood and water, bro. But I mean, they were both dope. Ah, they're not for debate. They're Queen Sono, nothing against Pro. I just didn't like her as an actor, and I felt like, okay. yeah. Let me just leave it there. I didn't like her as an actor. Nothing against her. Though. Cool, cool. Yeah. Um, are you copping Groove or are you staying indoors? So copper drop Groove or staying indoors? I think I'd uh, right now I'd cop uh, staying indoors. Okay. I'd cop, I think Groove, bro, I've seen it. It's been, yeah, it's right been now good. I just want to, I'm more of a person who chillers vibes. I'd like, really like to be intimate. Mm. So people that I know, not just go and meet new people, but people that I know, invite them over. We chill, we catch and up. And it's a vibe. Yeah, it's just chilled vibes, nothing too deep. I don't want to, yeah, the aim is not to sweat. <laughs> him is not to say been sweating <laughs> he's been hey, but the episode's the getting case. long are you at the end this is me man yeah that's, is that you yeah that's couple drop for this week guys right, you'll, cool, you'll guys. hit me with the next one yeah thanks uh, for tuning in hope you guys enjoyed comment down below your thoughts and engage with us and we'll let catch you in know, the next let one let us know yeah see ya yeah who you copying or dropping Kenzie or me <laughs> <Damn. Sad. laughs>